Alrighty, yo, what is going on boys, Asian Sensation, back with another banger to the episode, we are doing some B of the Coliseum, I am trying out a very fun strat that actually has insane late game potential, and that is Sub Sniper Chipper, so let's give it a go, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, helps us out a lot, and gets us that much closer in our goal of 100,000 subscribers. All right, let's get it. So I'm just gonna start with a sub. We'll play him right there. It's gonna be our air burst. I mean, this is like the only tower we can use for early game. Sniper ain't gonna do it. The group DPS is abysmal, same with chipper. So we don't really have any other option. I kind of wish air burst darts was a little bit cheaper because in the early, I honestly think it should be like 900 at most because like grape shots, like almost half the price. And I feel like <clears throat> air burst is not twice as good as a grape shot, you know? So it's kind of annoying. Because, like, one airburst will start to get overwhelmed, like, round six. Whereas two grape shots will handle round six. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just me kind of going on a little ramble here. But I'm hoping we can get some good content. I think round 13 is going to be a troublesome round. I think we got to go for, like, a reactor in a really, like, strange spot. But then, like, have a third tier chipper as well. And maybe, like, an airburst. Or we just go for, like, a ballistic missile next to a reactor and then like a chip around strong it's it's expensive but it's a play honestly or we could just do a completely different route and just fully commit to sniper farming which i don't think is a bad play so say we go for like a two three sniper and then just like have a ballistic missile here that way if y'all have with camos for some reason we can always sell the ballistic for some merchant support and potentially a reactor and I, I don't know, you can, I think you can make it work. So we'll, we'll try our best. I'll try to maneuver with it. But the reason this strategy actually works out come late game is that, I mean, all you have to do is shred the outermost layer. All you have to do is shred the ZOMG layer and then you can tripper stall. You can tripper stall BFPs and below infinitely. So you just get a ton of first strikes. You get a ton of um, sniper farms as well. Sniper farms have incredible DPS. And if they're all targeted as strong, they're only going to target ZOMGs. So obviously, like you have to triple stall and just rely on, you know, having some sort of cleanup. But if you're constantly like using first strike capabilities, like you'll be okay. Okay, so here we're getting rushed. I'm gonna put guide access on. Oh, it's already on. Just blinded you guys there for a second. But yeah, let's go for. I guess we can go for this. A second air burst. Seems like a little bit of an overkill to me, but it'll save us like 50 plus lives. So I think I think it is worth it. My eco isn't super high, but honestly, like we started off pretty hot. I do want to keep ecoing a little bit though, because his if I don't eco right now, what's going to happen is his grape shot's going to pop the AI so fast that these rounds are just going to start flying by, which is not what we want. We want longer rounds since we're relying on time, whereas he's relying on rounds, just round in general. And what I mean by that, that might sound confusing. like. Farms are obviously getting a set amount of money per round, whereas eco is time reliant. So if the rounds are getting stalled out, it's obviously going to benefit the eco player as opposed to the farm player. You know what I mean? Especially when you have such a higher eco than him. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go for a sniper here. We'll just save up. I think if he round 11 rushes, ballistic, mi ballistic missile 1750? Oh my land, so that thing's expensive. I mean, it's a play. I think we just go for semi auto though. So we go semi-auto, and then if he sends a ton of camos, we can get like a sub right here, right? His farms are a bit crazy good right now. We're gonna send this to force signal flare, hopefully. Nice. Very good. So yeah, I mean, if we have 0.50 on boost, in theory, we should defend everything that's not camo. And if he does send camos, I mean, it's just so expensive, bro. So at this point, we just save up for our supply drop. I know he's floating a ton of cash right now. I think he's saving. Nope, he's going for the plantation. Okay. I don't want to eco at all right here because I'm saving up for my sniper farm. I think if we see any rush, I'll go ballistic missile, which is kind of crazy. Like, you would think I want to go for 0.50, but the problem is I can't sell a 0.50 to get a sniper farm. You know what I mean? I can sell a ballistic to get my sniper farm earlier, but I can't do that the way I just mentioned earlier. So, okay, we're going to sell this for. These two sell for 1700. So, one more eco boost from now, we'll go for it. We're actually in a great spot money wise so yeah we're gonna go like this this and go for the sniper farm he might rush me i know he's gonna want to bia right here so we're gonna go ahead and just send him eco balloons literally eco balloons 
Instant tower boost. But he panicked. But he panicked. I know we can afford a destroyer though. This dude's floating cash. It's not even worth re rushing yet. Let's see. He gets it up, and I don't have Bloom Boost to uh, enhance my rush. So I, I think we just bide our time. He's ecoing right now, which is actually might be effective. No, it's not. Never mind. But we're in a good spot. The hardest thing though with this loadout is like how do you defend BFBs the most efficient way? And that's what I'm still trying to find out. I don't know the best way to defend BFPs on this map or on any map in general with this strategy. I think ballistic missile spam is solid because the issue always comes down to how are you going to get like good ceramic cleanup and whatnot. And it's not an easy answer. Like it's, it's really expensive to defend BFPs with this loadout, no matter how you look at it. Um, he's sending me a something. I'm going to have to uh, get up a ballistic, I think. Yeah, so we'll go ballistic and then probably just get 0.50 and this should defend. Yeah, we should defend. Perfect. I don't have to burn spikes either. Nice. Okay. So now what we do is we save it for a second sniper farm. It might be a little bit greedy to go for it this round, but I think we can still honestly get enough money to defend round 20 BFB. Like, obviously, going boat sniper ace, it's so easy to defend. Okay, we saw that. It's so easy to defend because you just boat blow. But we don't have that luxury with this loadout. Now, you could go for a super wide funnel, but the problem is that spawns so many ceramics. I think you have to bring Chipper out, but the question is, like, how? And I think the answer is... I think the answer is a triple wide funnel plus three ballistics on Foo should be enough. It's really expensive, but... Yeah, so here's here's the play. Go like this, we go like this. We're about to get a sniper form. And I think I just have to boost here. But... Yeah, we just have to boost this. It's okay, but like it defends, which is all that matters. And we didn't have to sell any farms. We're going to go on Russian with literally eco right now. Because I, yeah, we got up a destroyer. But if he re rushes right here, I think we're okay. Triple spike should do it. Like the ballies or ballistic missiles are just really, really good ceramic cleanup. So I think, I think that worked fine. Like I said, it's expensive defense. Defense. Oh, also very interesting to know. A 0-3 sub cost the exact amount as a 2-3 chipper. It's really interesting. All right. That's cool. Okay, let's go for sniper farm number three. Revive it. If he sends a ZOMG, I mean, like, kind of dumb. All I have to do is just first strike it. Sure, he might force me to sell a sniper farm, but you're losing so much eco by sending some dumb rush like that. Let's see if we can force a boost. I use triple destroyer. Probably not. We'll just keep farming on. We have three sniper farms and 700 eco. Not bad at all. I actually think we're in a very good spot. Like, I don't think we're drained at all. I think having 700 eco here is quite solid. We don't really need more eco. We just need more sniper farms. Because if I get more eco, the problem with that is like if I rush them with ZMGs, it tanks my eco. But if I just have sniper farms and I already have a low eco, it doesn't really matter if I'm tanking my eco a little bit, you know? Because you can always just get eco in the form of sniper farms. It's nice. Each sniper farm is roughly 350 eco, I'm pretty sure, if you do the calcs. But obviously it doesn't diminish when you send rushes, whereas regular eco does. So that's a nice advantage of it. It is time reliance, just as eco is. So, I mean, it is eco. We're going to go ahead and sell. We'll sell a ballistic to sniper farm even harder here. Put some of these on strong. This shouldn't be a super micro heavy loadout either, I don't think. I don't think we'll have to do any crazy micro, hopefully. He's got five destroyers. It will definitely be fine here. A little bit of an over defend, over defend on his end, it seems like. I'm almost to the point where I can just sell my sniper farms, I feel like. Or not my sniper farms, my regular defense. My sub and my, uh, this thingy, chipper. But yeah, I feel like, I don't think there's a single video, like, on YouTube of someone going this strategy, believe it or not, and using it successfully. Like, show me if there is, but I don't think there is, which is super cool because, like, it's extremely viable in the late game. Have I used it in the late game? No, but I just know it's going to be cracked. Now, type ZOMGs are going to be slight diff slightly difficult, but we're going to have, we are already on pace to have so much money come around 30 plus. We already have one, two, three, four, seven sniper farms, about to be eight and counting. And that just snowballs like crazy. So, looking very good for us. We'll flood the map, I guess the top part of the map with snipers. Then this back end will be kind of reserved for getting chipper stalls. 
I don't think it's ever worth it to go for super wide funnels in this instance, since the super wide funnel does not hit ZOMGs. And that's all we're really looking to do is just get our ZOMG defense up. Because once we do that, we can just triple stall the insects. So it's just all about efficiency, right? I think we can actually go ahead and sell the super wide funnel now. Because now if he rushes with his uh, BFB, what we can do is just upgrade these snipers and they will literally solo the BFB. So that's awesome. I should just get FMJ. It's going to help out in a tremendous amount. So we'll do that. But yeah, we're just going to keep hammering the sniper farms. I don't know when I should stop sniper farming. That's always like the biggest question mark when I use a sniper farm strategy. Like, when should I stop? And I'm thinking like round 31, honestly. I think we can get away with sniper farming until round 31. Call me crazy. Also, we can utilize Cripple Moabs, which is going to be really nice. Toggle those onto strong and just have them stall those UMGs. It's going to be pretty, pretty dang nice because that's just going to give us much more time to even shred that outer ZOMG layer, right? Which is all we're trying to do, as previously mentioned. But the sniper army is looking tremendously good. And the reason I like sniper farms so much on this map, dude, is because you can only fit four farms, dude. You can fit four farms, but I can fit like a hundred sniper farms. It's amazing. It's amazing. And sniper's DPS is just really, really good. Once these are upgraded to 0 0.50, they will, like we can solo a ZOMG next round if I get these all upgraded to 0 0.50, which is insane and also what I'm about to do. So we're gonna chill for now. I'm gonna start upgrading these, get a bunch of these on strong, just for the uh, ZOMGs, like I mentioned, but we still need some on first. I assume he's gonna send me like a ZOMG, a test ZOMG or something. If not, I'm actually gonna continue farming. I think this is a little bit greedy, but I th we just have time to defend is the nice thing. Okay, here comes the rush. Let's go for one cripple Moab. Let's go for one cripple Moab just to give us some time. Put them on strong and then make sure we're defending ai i think honestly getting a reactor is a good play here and then we just chill with this make we need these on first bro uh oh do i have to sell something we need these on first okay we're actually shredding no we're not no we're not no we're not and that boys is why you need chipper stall <laughs> and yeah having the chipper stall by the reactor is really good too because then the reactor will pop balloons for us which is really nice Okay, so let's go for a bunch of these on strong with the goal being like, hey, we just need to shred this ZOMG and we're good. And now I have to start getting these up to 0.50, like I mentioned, making sure we're collecting those crates. No, this is around 33. These are around 33 and we're shredding it before it gets a quarter of the way through the map. It's incredible. Let's go. So this is our game to freaking lose here, man. Let's go for one more cripple, I suppose. He's sending a sizable rush all of a sudden. Just make sure we have a chipper stall active for these uh, insides. And I haven't even first strike once this game, believe it or not. So that's pretty nice. Just gonna keep on getting these up, making sure I have a chipper stall available at all times. That's essential. We don't wanna get caught choking, so <laughs> we can do that. And yeah, he has zero eco now, by the way. Like he had a BIA earlier, but then he converted them all the factories and now he's just like broke so we're not broke he just doesn't have eco let's go ahead and triple spike that for the memes and i think we're just fine this strategy is insane dude i have not had to first strike this once and all these aren't even upgraded to 0.50 man that's the best part okay our reactor's gotta have an insane amount of pop only 12,000. i thought it would have more but yeah with all this excess cash let's oh my god we're shredding dude this is sick let's first strike start to now and we want to put those by the reactor so that the ability comes back quicker as well. It's kind of an OP tech. Making sure we're collecting our crates. And if he randomly starts to all out me, which it looks like he is, this is when, this is when, chat, you start selling sniper farms and just spamming, spamming the abilities of the sub. So that's the play. I still have two boosts. I want to use those when I have like the full map covered in the defense I want to upgrade. But yeah, this is his all out. Let's go ahead and cycle a boost. And we're gonna sell some things to get up more of these first strikes. And this should be an easy defend, bro. That's the crazy part. Like this should be an easy defend. Let's make sure we have a chipper stall going. Let's get up some more first strikes. First strike. And I guess we can get one more chipper stall. 
Okay, start selling a few more. I think going for more cripple mobs is also a good play here. So let's go ahead and go for one more. Just put them on first, it's fine. First strike that. This should be an easy defend, as previously mentioned. Make sure we have our tripper stall. You just gotta stay calm in this moment, because like you know, I just know this I can defend this easy. I just gotta actually do it. Um and we'll cycle a boost soon, but I don't need to quite yet. The good thing is I don't need to quite yet. Sell, sell. And yeah, we'll go ahead and boost. This is when things get interesting, and I think it's probably better to just start microing these guys now. Yeah. Triple stall, active, perfect. And I mean, we've pretty much cleared all the ZMGs, I think. So now it's just a matter of tripper stalling, right? Which we have at our disposal, but we're running out of space. I need to find space to spam these. Um, nice. I think we popped all the ZMGs, if I'm not mistaken. No, there's one more. This is terrifying, though. I just have to keep stalling. Okay, we, we popped everything. So now we just let everything just kind of continue to be stalled. No, there's still green in there. I see green. I see a little bit of green. Make sure we have a tripper stall going all times, bro. And we're good. I just need to make sure it's going at all times, bro. This is so important. I think we're good. We're good. I don't want to lose this game, bro. Let's go and rush. Let's counter. And we have chipper stall going still. Really, really good. I need to find room for chipper stalls, though. Okay, we have room there. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh my god, did I just almost leap there, dude? I need. Oh my god, chipper stall, chipper stall. I'm out. Of, I don't have a stall ready. I don't have a stall ready. Go, 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 go. Chipper stall, chipper stall, chipper stall. There's one over here. Chipper stall that. Chipper stall that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Holy, bro. Need a triple stall. I need a triple stall. I need a triple stall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Sell. This placement's huge. Cycle it, so use it now. So we have an infinite stall going. Yes. Please, please, please. Use it again. Use it again. Use two, because why not? Come on. GG. I hope you guys are subscribed. If you're not, do it. Tripper stall again. GG, baby. That's what I'm saying, dude. Round 39. GG. Make sure you subscribe, boys. Holy. That's that content, baby. You already know.